Hi. Good afternoon. How are you? Are you fun? Very good, very good. You all are the future ambassador of the society. Am I right? Okay. This is the biological class. So the student who are here, they want to become a doctor. I am seeing you all are the future doctor of our country. Am I right? Yes. Okay. So being the doctor, you have to take oath, you should serve the society. Am I right? Yes. And the beginning foundation classes for the medical sciences will be started from 10th onward. So in this session, from the 10th, 11th and 12th, you have to do hard labor. Then you will get your target. Is it okay? Yes. So this is, the, this is the first introductory class for the biological science. There are two parts. One part can start explain about the plant system and another for the animal system. Is it okay? By, by studying both the part, you will get 100% marks in your NEET examination. So before this, I would like to comparative analysis of the flowering plant. Do you know the meaning of flowering plant? No. The plant which can produce flower, which have reproductive part as the flower, they are called flowering plant. So collectively, flowering plants are called angiospermic plant. Am I right? Yes. Okay. Here, I have drawn the diagram of two type of angiospermic plant. One you can see here, another you can see here. This is the plant of mustard and this is the onion. Is it okay? Yes, now, I would like to explain this thing with our model. This is the mustard plant and this one is the onion plant. And you may ask, why sir you have taken these two plants? Because here I would like to discuss first introductory class the comparative analysis of monocot and dicot. Am I right? So still you have studied about the monocot and dicot on the basis of the seed structure. But right now you can see the whole structure, dicot and monocot on the basis of the whole structure of the plant. Okay? So first of all, I would like to explain about the whole structure of a plant. Plant has how many system? Two system. Root system and shoot system. Root system basically present inside the soil. So root system comprises of root and root hairs. Similarly, shoot system comprises of stem, branches, leaves, flower. In this plant, you can see the flower. This is the flowering plant. Okay? And this one is the fruit. Okay. Similarly, in case of onion, you can see this is the root and this one is the modified stem. Basically here, in this region, you can see the modified stem and this one is their leaves. Am I right? Yes, sir. Okay. So first you can see in the mustard plant. Before starting the topic, I would like to discuss the scientific name of these two plant because you are the student of biological science, biology. So you should aware towards your environment. If anybody will ask to you, Beta, what you have studied at your school level, then simply you will say, today my teacher has discussed about the plant. Which type of plant? You can say flowering plant, mustard plant, onion plant. Nobody can ask to you, tell me about the whole structure. Everybody can ask to you, tell me the scientific name of these two plants. Am I right? Yes, sir. Okay, so first of all, you should know the name of mustard plant, scientific name of mustard plant. Mustard plant. Each living body has scientific name. In previous class, I had discussed its scientific name has two parts, genus and species. So genus of mustard plant is Brassica. Brassica and species is Nigra. Okay. Similarly for onion, see here, onion. 
साइंटिफिक नेम ऑफ ओनियन एलियम सेपा एलियम सेपा इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैड डिस्कस अबाउट द डायकोट एंड मोनोकॉट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ सीड स्ट्रक्चर इफ वी कैन रिमूव द सीड कोट एंड यू विल गेट टू पार्ट देन वी कैन से दैट सीड बिलोंग्स टू डायकॉट इफ वी कैन रिमूव द सीड कोट एंड वी विल गेट ओनली वन कॉटिलिडन दिस वन इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ मोनोकॉट इज इट ओके बट बट हाउ वी कैन डिस्टिंग्विश on the basis of whole structure of plant this one is the dicot and that one is monocot okay earlier i have told you a plant has two parts to comparative analysis we have to do on the basis of their primary structure or the root level both are the diagram of root is it okay yes, can you say both diagram are similar no, there are some differences yes. okay see here here the root have branches but here they don't have branches am i right see here let's see here these just say hello all of you see here these are the two models of the plant okay yes, i have drawn the diagram and you have to locate which plant has this type of root system mustard plant and whose plant has this type of root system onion plant on the basis of external structure you can see if the cluster of roots are there they are fibrous root and fibrous root are the example of monocot is it okay yes, and the roots root which have branches they are the example of tap root and they are the example of dicot yes. how you can distinguish which one is the tap root which one is the fibrous root okay if the root acha tell me one thing Have you seen a sprouted gram? Yes, sir. आपको राहु चना देखा है? Yes, sir. Okay. So first of all, you have seen the white color part comes out of the sprouted gram. Yes. They are they are radical. Just I am drawing the diagram. See here, this is the gram seed. And if you can see the sprouted part, first you can see this type of structure. and this is called what this is called radical okay and from that radical if the root arises this one is the example of tap root and tap root is this is called the primary root primary root and primary root has branches this is called the secondary root and secondary root has branches this is called tertiary root tertiary root okay if the root has branches primary root has branches secondary root secondary root has branches tertiary root if main root is differentiated into primary secondary and tertiary then this is the example of tap root and tap root is the example of which plant dicot plant dicot plant okay yes, yes, if the cluster of root arises from the lower portion of stem and they are not differentiated in primary secondary and tertiary then they are called what fibrous root fibrous root and fibrous roots are the example of monocot clear yes sir this is the mustard plant and again i am discussing the another species of this family this is very common in today life in today you can see this is the radish plant 
मूली देखा है ओके सी हियर दिस इज द रेडिस प्लांट दिस इज द रेडिस प्लांट यस सर एवरीबॉडी इज टेलिंग दिस इज द रेडिस प्लांट दिस इज मस्टर्ड प्लांट एंड मस्टर्ड प्लांट हैव सिंपल टेप रूट बट इन केस ऑफ मस्ट रेडिस प्लांट यू कैन से दिस टाइप ऑफ this type of a structure okay yes sir this is the radish plant tap root and this is mustard plant tap root okay yes, ab here i would like to explain one thing why such type of changes occur in the same kind of root can you say okay very nice because that plant has to perform a special function and that a special function is called modification isko kya bolte hain modification so for that structure tap root becomes swollen by the accumulation of food theek hai is it okay abhi 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 muli ka season hai you can see the radish plant in our locality and you can compare why the root of mustard becomes thicker and thinner and why the roots of raphanus plant basically we can say radish plant becomes swollen is it okay because that plant can store food material and becomes swollen that modified structure is called fuji form root isko kaun sa root bolte hain fuji form root fuji form root the first first i had discuss about the comparative analysis in between dicot and monocot on the basis of root level second thing i am discussing about the comparative analysis between the similar structure of tap root and some modified structure of tap root clear acha yes, one thing before uh, stopping the class i would like to ask one question from you people you all are seeing yes, sir. this is what onion 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 is it okay yes, can you say onion is the root or stem you all are very intelligent you all are right this is modified stem yes, okay yes, chalo fir next class i will discuss the next part yes,